Okay, let's get started with the resume builder. And this will be all about content and how to get your content into the resume builder. In this broader section, we're gonna talk about the resume builder basics. So let's get going. So right from our home, we're gonna go over to our resume builder and create our first resume. You can get there by clicking create resume or the resume builder menu here on the left. And so this is gonna be the first time we use it. So it's gonna prompt us to import our data into Teal. You can do this a few different ways. You can either paste in an existing resume. So if you've got a resume that you wanna work with and use that as a starting place, you could do that. You can import your LinkedIn profile uh, or you can paste in the text. Right? I will have a module for each one of these. In this particular one, we are gonna go ahead and use an existing resume. I recommend a PDF, but a Word doc or pages or any of those would work as well. So you're gonna click browse and bring over that file. You can just drag that file over from a folder on your computer or you can browse for it. Here, we're gonna go ahead and load in our PDF. So it's been uploaded and now it's gonna use AI to do its best to detect every piece of information on your resume. Resumes come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. So we try our best to detect all the information for you, no matter if you have a template with columns, uh, you know, multiple pages. So this could take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, but it's really about saving you hours of manually uploading this data. So now the data has been brought in and the first time you're gonna be presented with a tour. In this particular case, we'll go ahead and skip the tour because I'm gonna walk you guys through all of this ourselves. So here we are. Our data has been imported into the Teal Resume Builder. So we've got our data in. All right, now I'm gonna do another module on how to import with LinkedIn in the same exact process. And there'll be another one that goes through the entire interface. So with that, we'll end right here. And this is how to import your data using an existing resume.